All right, what's up guys? Welcome to the video. No, it is not nighttime. It just looks like it outside because it's about to storm like crazy here. I just turned that light, I turned one light on and then turned the other light off. I don't know why I did that. Uh, it's going pretty wild outside. Let's go out in the garage and check it out. It's looking like we're about to get hit by a pretty gnarly storm on the radar. Cooter is very terrified of the thunderstorms. Poor Cooter. It's okay, buddy. We're gonna be all right. Shit, man, stuff blowing around in the backyard. Wind is picking up. That's what got me to grab the camera because I noticed the wind was going crazy. Everything's all right out here. Come on, Cooter, you're okay. Come on, buddy. It's okay, Cooter. Let's go out in the garage. Oh, ends. The thunder's been cracking off. I had to change my camera battery. Whoa, she's going green, man. Going green. There it is. There it is. It's okay, buddy. We're gonna be all right. I'm not gonna let nothing happen to you, Cooter. He hates the thunder, man. Clouds are moving. Another rainy day in Point Venture. I'll just be kicking it, doing my thing. Oh! Lightning just struck like right behind me. Crazy. And the thunder rolls. All right, Kush, we're gonna be okay, buddy. Enzo don't give up. Here's the thunder and he's like, where's it at? Let me at him, let me at him. Nothing, there's nothing in there for you. Hey, nothing in there for you, sir. Come on, Cooter Bug, let's go inside. Shut her down. Shut me down. Yeah, I'm just over here editing the next video. It'll be uploaded soon. Got the windows open, listening to the rain. Cooter's freaking out. It's okay, buddy. I'm gonna be all right. Oh, shit. Big lightning. Whoa. My poor dog, look at him shaking from the thunder, man. He is so scared. It's all right, Kuda. This is what he does, man. He just gets as close to me as he can. Shivers and shakes. He hates it, man. He hates it. I'm sorry, buddy. This storm will pass soon. We'll be okay. And if all else fails, we got a boat, bud. Poor guy. Shivering. It's really raining now. Shoot. Coming down. Whoa. Ah. It's okay, Kuda. We're okay. Zen garden still lit up. <laughs> man, it is raining hard. Let's go check it out here, man. Thunderstorm day. Look out, Kuda. Stay inside. Oh, we won't need to water the plants today. Come on, Kuda. Inside. Look out. Anyways, guys, as I was saying, editing the next video, and we'll try to just keep this thing going, man. We'll try to go daily as much as I can. If you guys are into daily content, looking for something new to watch on YouTube, go ahead and give my channel a little sub. Hit that notification bell, and uh, check out the new videos when I post them. I be posting all the time, and I'm really getting back into the swing of things around here on this channel. All right, guys, as promised, it's time to shoot the toy collection video. It's nasty, raining outside. We can't really do anything outside. So I figured it would be the perfect time to shoot this video. I'm gonna light everything up in here, go shelf by shelf, toy by toy, and just show you everything that I've accumulated so far in my action figure collection. A little bit about the collection. I started collecting probably close to seven, eight years ago back in Roy City in the old house and I actually had an office that had a lot of toys in it. I made a video way back on the channel. If you go back far enough, you'll see the first action figure collection
collection video I did and you can see all the old collection and everything that I used to have before I ended up selling off like 90% of everything that I had. I kept a few that I, that I couldn't bear to part with and the rest I sold. Ever since I sold my collection, I'll be honest, I totally regretted it. Every time I would walk back there in the room and, and not see my toys, I was like, damn, I can't believe I sold all those, man. That was a bummer. I gave these, these guys an excellent deal and sold my entire collection at, at one time, and it was hard to bag that stuff up and help them load it under their truck, I'll tell you that much. Anyways, having noticed that, Enzo's right here, what's up, buddy? Having noticed that I was heavily regretting selling my toys, Eventually, I ended up picking up a new piece here and there, picking up a new piece here and there, grabbed this piece. Before you knew it, I was collecting again, building the collection into what you see behind me here. And it's been so much fun. A lot of these toys have come from, you know, um, Facebook groups, other collectors, toy shops. There's some awesome vintage toy stores in Dallas that I used to frequent, eBay, online sales, local finds, comic book shops, just a plethora of different places that I've accumulated all of these toys from and if there's any toy collectors out there watching I know you know the thrill of the hunt and the fun of uh, being able to go find a toy that you used to have when you were a kid and pick that thing up now uh, it's pretty crazy man something that I got into pretty heavily as you can see man action figures and toy collecting it's a uh, it's a big part of my life now and uh, I dig it man I really love being able to reach out and grab a hold of nostalgic pieces from my childhood I'm a, I'm a 90s kid and I think some of the toys that came out in the 90s were some of the best ever a lot of toy collectors will absolutely argue with that and say that all the toys that came out in the 90s were garbage but man I loved the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff and all the loud colors and crazy wild insane toys that came out in the 90s. I was a huge fan of all that stuff. You're gonna see a lot of that in my collection. Maybe you'll see a lot of stuff in my collection that you recognize and that you had when you were a kid. If you do, if you see anything back here that you had when you were young, please go down below, leave me a comment, let me know what it is. I would love to hear from you guys. If you collect toys yourself, if you have an action figure um, that's in your attic that you had when you were a kid and this video makes you go up there and get that action figure, man, leave me a comment, let me know what's up. That would be great, dude. I, I love interacting with other people who have you know similar interest as myself. If you watch this channel for long, you'll tell that I'm into a lot of stuff. My hobbies vary. This isn't like this channel has turned into just a little bit of everything. So uh, it's really just my life at this point, man. I'm sharing my life with you guys. If you like it, cool. If you dig it, I appreciate you hanging out with me, subscribing, watching my videos. Let's get into this toy collection, man. I'm going to start over here and just go around the room and try to show you everything that I have so far, everything that I've accumulated in my collection. And I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get it. All right, kicking things off, Kenner Ghostbusters. This is uh, probably my favorite line, honestly. These are the toys that I kept when I sold my last collection. Couldn't bear to part with these. Had to hang on to all my OG Ghostbusters. So I have all them here, as you can see. I have some card figures back here. Some of them are, are mint. Some of them are more mint than others. These uh, Ecto Glow figures right here recently have skyrocketed in price. Some of them, in certain conditions, if you can get them in really good condition, are selling for over $400 right now. It's pretty crazy. There's a little Voltron, one of the new diecast Voltron figures right here. And then just all these loose Kenner Ghostbusters, man. My favorite Ghostbuster figure is the Egon figure. So you'll see a lot of Egon here. Um, I got two of these Egons, both ties intact. It's really hard to find this figure with the tie intact, and I actually have two of them. Pretty stoked on that. There's a little Battle Cat right there from Masters of the Universe. Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. And then some more Egons over here with uh, Proton Packs. I have several of these Egons. I love this, uh, this figure right here. Oh, no, we bumped him with the microphone, and he fell over. So let's get that picked up, man. I can't have that. Now that's the worst when your action figures fall over dude it's like a domino effect everything just starts falling and then before you know it you got to set up all this stuff again so there's the kenner ghostbuster shelf a little bit of masters of the universe and voltron mixed in really love these toys man all right let's move on down to this next shelf right here starting over here on this side we got a little predator action figure right there a little old school i think that's kenner as well and then we'll move into the gremlin section all these neca gremlins i really love these these figures are really nice man neca just one of the best uh toy companies out there right now putting out awesome awesome stuff the 8-bit gremlin right there these are old school. I had these guys when I was a kid. 
So every time I see one of these for a good price, I go ahead and pick it up. The Stripe Gremlin figure from back in the day. This chair is making noise. I'm not going to be able to sit in this chair while I film this video. These little Reaper guys right here, they're from a board game that came out in the 90s called Hero Quest. And if you can find that board game complete, it's insanely expensive. But this is my favorite little piece from the game. So anytime I see these, I snag them. Another little Gremlin back there, an OG Godzilla. Another little Godzilla. A couple Masters of the Universe, Matty Collector pieces right here. This is one of my favorite figures in my entire collection. The, uh, the unnamed one. Supposedly, I heard that a bunch of people were mad when they released this figure because it turned out that the unnamed one was like an Orko. But uh, I think this figure is awesome. Also got the, uh, the jacked up Skeletor, man. Sp uh, Space Mutant Skeletor on steroids. Now we're gonna move on to one of my absolute favorite shelves, man. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Everybody loves the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is the Playmates line that came out back in the day. Super cool, super awesome. I got a bunch of these lined up here loose. I got the, the re-release, the classic collection there, carded in the back. Baxter the Fly, Super Shredder, Usagi, Space Usagi, Mondo Gecko, Usagi Yojimbo, Muckman. All these figures are awesome. Metalhead, shout outs to, uh, shoot, Ray. <laughs> shout outs to Ray. Whatever your YouTube channel is now, man, shout outs to Ray. Ray also just recently got into uh, collecting Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle action figures, man. He's a really good friend of mine, so it's awesome to have a, another buddy getting into it. Somebody else that had the toys as a kid now getting them again as an adult. Awesome, man. I fully support it. So yeah, there's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shelf. You'll see some more Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles scattered throughout the collection because I couldn't fit them all right here. Now we're gonna bump on down to another one of my favorite shelves, the Michael Keaton Batman shelf. Yes, Michael Keaton is the real Batman and the only Batman, I don't care what anyone says. Um, the OG Batman is where it's at, 1989. Michael Keaton, Jack Nicholson, that's it. These are the Batman toys that I collect, the Keaton line, 8-bit Keaton. I got the little duck vehicle from the Penguin there. Batmobiles, these are all Kenner. These are all OG, carded. Got these figures from other collectors online. Found this one locally here in Austin. And then a bunch of the vehicles. This is the OG Hot Wheels Batmobile. I have several of those there. Diecast Batwing. A couple more. This is an OG right here, from back in the day, 1989. A couple newer versions of the Batmobile right here. These are awesome. Another diecast Batwing. This is probably my favorite piece. The diecast Batwing. I had this when I was a kid. Loved it. Carried around with me everywhere. And now I have two more as an adult. Crazy. And then I also had these pieces right here when I was a kid. So it's neat to see those kicking it on card in the collection. All right. Let me go ahead and straighten up this bottom shelf. We'll get this out of the way. Not a lot down here. Just a few Maddie Collector Ghostbusters figures. I'm a huge Ghostbusters fan, as you may have noticed. My YouTube logo, modeled after Ghostbusters. Bunch of Ghostbusters stuff in the collection. All these on card, unopened, and in perfect condition. Funny thing about one of these figures here, if you look, this is uh, Pete Venkman from the first Ghostbusters movie. Has the first Ghostbusters movie logo right there. But Maddie Collector, Put it in a Ghostbusters 2 bubble. But that's a pretty cool little uh, defect there on that one. Now let's move on over here to the Alien shelf. I got some Ghostbusters Hot Wheels down here lying the bottom. And then some Kenner Aliens from the 90s. This is OG figure. OG figure. It's a re-release. You'll see some more Aliens that I have throughout the collection as well that didn't fit over here. This guy. Oh, another TMNT fig. Little Master Splinter on card over there. This Predator figure my wife brought back from China. I also have a Big Lebowski action figure back there that I'm not gonna pull out. Little Tales from the Crypt. Anybody remember that show, Tales from the Crypt? These toys right here, man, I loved these when I was a kid. The Savage Mondo Blitzers, nobody liked these and you can actually find them online for good, good deals, but I had this exact package when I was a kid and I loved these toys, so had to get it again. There's Orko chilling over here. Now we can move on to the large shelf in the collection. It's a lot of Ghostbusters. It starts with the Diamond Select Ghostbusters figures on this shelf here. Some more uh, Ghostbusters Hot Wheels down there. This is a Dino Riders Raptor. Dino Riders, those toys are astronomically expensive now, but I still have this OG figure from when I was a kid. A couple Terror Dog boxes down here. Love that artwork, so I got that displayed. 
and then up on top oh stay puff slimer also chilling up here and then we'll get on to pretty much this is like my horror shelf slash ghostbuster shelf a lot of diamond select here i'll just go through real slow let you guys check out these action figures man they're pretty awesome I got some loose, I got some on card. I'm a, I'm a mix collector. I do loose and carded collecting, as you can see. All four OG Ghostbusters back there on card. Slimer, Lewis on card up here on the wall. And then I, I also opened some figures as well, man. These are newer Diamond Selects that I've just opened and displayed up here on the top shelf. And then once we get past here, the Ghostbusters, and it starts getting into some more like horror type stuff, you'll see uh, this is uh, Lord of Darkness from the movie Legend with Tom Cruise's first movie, I think one of his first movies, if not his first movie. Yeah, Lord of Darkness, pretty awesome there. And then I got some Jason Voorhees, Friday the 13th. Everybody loves Jason. Looking awesome over here. Several of the Jason figures posed up. And then it moves on to Nightmare on Elm Street, my personal favorite horror movie ever. Freddy Krueger, the icon, reaching out for Jason there. I have Wes Craven's new Nightmare Freddy. A couple other Freddies right here, kicking it. They're all awesome. And then. I have the NECA Ed 209, which uh, if you hit a little button back here. Awesome, let's do it again. <laughs> awesome. All right, Robocop, Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees. Up here, I have another loose Kenner alien the cartridge figure of this guy. Have him on card up here. Cult classics. Another Ray from Ghostbusters. Then I have this Eric Draven from The Crow. And a couple newer Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures up here that I haven't opened yet. Still trying to figure out whether or not I'm gonna open them. I have the Samurai, Warrior Horse, Usagi Yojimbo, and 1980s Bebop. So maybe I'll get these open soon, I don't know. The dude's always in here kicking it. Shout outs to the dude. Okay, now we're gonna move on to like the, the loud, the loud colored part of the collection. One of my favorite sections here, kind of just a mix of everything. I'll just go shelf by shelf and let you guys take a look at some of this stuff, man. Some Ghostbusters, some Monster in my pocket. That's a mint Vankman right there. Some more Ghostbusters, Monster in my pocket, Dragon Ball Z. These flashlights are from Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus. Had one when I was a kid. My dad hit it with a lawnmower. Shout outs to my dad. He always told me uh, if you don't pick your toys up out of the yard, I'm going to run them over with a lawnmower. And then, like a week later, that happened. Taught me a lesson. But then I worked hard, grew up, and bought two more. So, shout outs to my dad. Next shelf over here, you see some old school Kenner Beetlejuice figures, a carded Beetlejuice figure, and then some Grocery Gang, which is a newer a newer line that's out right now, but they just look so 90s, loud colors, crazy figures. Had to get them. All four of these guys lined up there. Moving on down here to this shelf, more Kenner Ghostbusters. And there's some Fraggle Rock. Ecto-3 chilling back there. On to the next shelf, more Grocery Gang little mystery mobile or mystery machine what is it yeah the mystery machine a couple Dragon Ball Z figures and a grocery gang vehicle back there chilling on to the next shelf more Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and grocery gang mixed in and then in the back back there you'll see this Kenner aliens kicking it in the background with a Dragon Ball Z figure and a grocery gang on card back there scumbug here one of my favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures and Usagi Yojimbo Slash there chilling. Once again, shout out to Ray. Ray likes that figure, Slash. No belt though. All right, moving down. More Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, more Grocery Gang. You can see a uh, movie star Mikey chilling right there. And then uh, 80s Rocksteady with some Grocery Gang. Slimer back there. Big old Grocery Gang garbage truck chilling in the background. On to the next one. Got a carded scumbug, a little Donatello action. Uh, there's a little Voltron line right here and some more Grocery Gang. Fraggle Rock, down and Fraggle Rock. Down and Fraggle Rock. Moving on, moving on. More Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Soft Head Turtles, the original line, Playmates. Rat King back there. 
uh, carded Samurai Usagi, the Master Shredder chilling up there on top, and another Grocery Gang figure just to finish off the big colorful 90s style loud color shelf. I love it. This is one of my favorite sections in the whole collection. It took a long time to uh, build all this up and get it sorted the way I wanted to, but I think it turned out great. And I can't wait to just keep adding to it, hopefully mimic this look over here on this side. We'll move on to the last shelf. Big old library ghost from Ghostbusters back there, Diamond Select, carded another Kenner alien from the 90s. A little newer Michelangelo figure and some more Fraggle Rock. There's the taxi, the taxi driver ghost from Ghostbusters. And then down here has some Halo figures. These figures are from Halo. Fraggle Rock race cars there in front. A little Hot Wheels car. I had this car when I was a kid. Had to pick it up again. I saw it for sale in one of the toy groups. And then uh, moving down, there's another Maddie Collector, Peter Venkman right here with Slimer. And then another Slimer. Move over to this little random shelf. A couple sports car, Hot Wheels, Voltron lines and a little airplane that I had when I was a kid. Had to snag it again as an adult, of course. A couple gremlins. There's a gizmo on card in there. Orco. And then up to my Robocop shelf. Pretty much gonna finish it off. Got the final, the Robocop shelf, the, the original Ed 209. A couple original OG Robocop figures, little police car hot wheels. This is actually a toy from my childhood that I had when I was a kid and it used to make noise and light up. Not so much anymore. Um, Another uh, Robocop, half Terminator, half Robocop action figure, pretty badass. Ed 209's box from the noise talking Ed 209 up there. A couple Voltron lines and a shipping box from Ghostbusters to finish it off. And there it is, man. That is my entire toy collection, front to back, every toy for you guys, pretty much, man. I think we looked at just about everything. If I missed something, I apologize. If you see something I missed, throw it down in the comments. I'll make sure I uh, let you know what it was. Come back and answer any questions you may have. Uh, this just took me forever to get to this point, but I love action figure collecting. It's an awesome hobby. I've met a lot of cool people doing this, and I, if you have any toys in your attic from when you were a kid and you like money, hit me up, because I may very well buy them if it's the right line. If you have any of these toys that you saw in here, let me know, I'll scoop them up. Well, all right, there it is, man. I hope you guys enjoyed that action figure collection walkthrough. Just a little up close and personal look at the display here in the room. It took me a long time to get all this stuff set up and I uh, hope you enjoyed it, man. I, 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 don't know, I know it's weird, man, adult collecting toys, what? But yeah, man, it's something I do. Uh, for whatever reason, one day got on eBay and saw, hey, I used to have that toy, bought it. And then, phew, now you see this. this, is what it is, man, action figures. Shout out to any other action figure collectors out there. Shout out to you if you're an adult going back, snagging nostalgic pieces of your childhood to keep in your home. It's pretty cool being able to go back as an adult, reach back in time, and grab those toys. But anyways, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go down below, click the like button, subscribe. I put out new videos all the time, if not every single day. Hit the notification bell. Please leave me a comment and say what's up, man. I love reading your comments, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.